A new engineer, Chloe, has been added to the game out in the Witchhead Nebula and today we're going to talk about everything you need to know in order to unlock her. The D2 image store is open. There are t-shirts, sweaters, hoodies, mugs and tote bags with many cool designs. Head down to the link in the video description and get yourself your merchandise today. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. So, the new engineer, Chloe. We're gonna have a look at what you need and as always with engineers there are three steps to unlocking. First you need to have the knowledge that the engineer actually exists. Then you need to um, complete something that will give you an invite uh, to actually come to the base. And secondly you need to do some kind of favor in order to actually unlock um, the engineer. Now I should say that she has law wise she's been studying with Professor Palin and if you go in here to the information page on Chloe you can see that the unlock requirements is actually well exactly the same as Professor Palin. You first need to get knowledge of her from Marco Quint. Now if you haven't unlocked him already you need to go and unlock him and do I believe it's at least one or two grade three upgrades and he will then tell you um, of the existence of, uh, of Chloe. And um, finally that is to get the knowledge, then you need to go and get the um, invite to the base and just as with Palin, you need to travel 5000 light years from your starting system. Now if you're in doubt where you can see that information, if you head over here to the home page and you go into the codex and in the codex you head into commander, you get into stats and you go into exploration. In here you should see over here in the right hand column at the bottom, you have max, max distance from start that is that distance that needs to be above 5,000 light years. If it is, you're good to go. If not, you need to get yourself a long range ship, a fuel scoop, and then you just begin flying in any old uh, direction until you reach the, the proper distance. And then we have, of course, the final favor we need to do. We can see here we need to deliver um, 25 units of sensor fragments. Sensor fragments come from, from Darkoid sensors, um, and they count as a engineering material. You can see here, I have them listed under uh, materials as a grade 4 material, so they're not cargo. Um, so there's a chance you already have them if you've been, been playing around for a while. But the easiest way to get your hand on these is to head to the system HIP17403. So um, in this system, we're going to head to, uh, to planet A, 4A, right here, it's the moon. And um, you can probe the moon. Uh, or you can just go to the set of coordinates that I found. There is a Thargoid, crashed Thargoid ship on the planet. So uh, let's head out there and um, let's have a look at it. So here we are at the small mountain at the center of a crater. Now, if you've been with the game for a while, you will probably know of this place and the Thargoid ship used to be at the foot of the hill. But something mysterious has happened. Either the crashed ships here has all collectively decided to begin to crawl up the side of a hill um, or the mountain itself has decided to move, I'm not really sure what happened, but at least it used to be at the foot of the hill, now it is halfway up a 7 degree slope, making it extremely difficult to access. Now you can get up there in an SRV, and it does still spawn um, Thargoid sensors. There used to also be sensor fragments lying around, but because it's so steep they have rolled somewhere and I've actually never been able to find them, but I've still been able to find the Thargoid sensors up there since they were caught on some of the, uh, the wreckage that are um, stuck in the hillside. So after making your way or spending some time trying to make your way up uh, up the hill, uh, what I recommend you do is just pick them up with an SRV. Um, of course you can only carry two. As soon as you have those two, head down the hill again to some flatter ground. Once you have some flat ground, I recommend you shoot them up with the turrets on the, on the, sh the SRV. That will uh, destroy them, and you will get a... Uh, I only managed to get a single si uh, fragment out of each. I think I recall sometimes you could get more, but I was only able to get uh, to get one with the with the ones that I did. Um, but do remember that when you pick them up, they count as three, fragment, three fragments in your inventory, which means you will have to do, I believe, five trips up the hill and down again. Um, you have to, of course, log out to the main menu and back in in order for the, to respawn the, uh, the sensors up there. But after five trips up there and down again, you should have all the sensor fragments um, that you need. Alternatively, you could try to harvest these sensors from um, uh, non-human signal sources. 
but I found that to be a little bit more RNG based and I think this was, even though it was difficult to get up the hill, this was definitely uh, easier um, for me to do because it was consistent and you know exactly where to fight the, uh, fight the sensors. But once you have all the sensor fragments, you can now begin to head back out to the Witchhead Sector DL-Y, D7, where Chloe is located. Once at her base, we can head into the engineering workshop and we can then go ahead and donate our sensor fragments and that unlocks her. We can see right now she can do engines and frameshift drive. Now, as I said, she's basically copy-paste of um, our Professor Palin. Um, but not quite, she's a bit like the engineers out in Colonia, where she will begin to give higher and higher blueprints as you unlock her. And you can see right now, when this video was done, she can do uh, FSDs to grade 2 and en uh, engines to grade 3. But as more and more people begin to upgrade with her, she will be leveled up, um, in lack of a better word. And eventually she'll be able to do the same blueprints as Palin, being grade 5 engines and grade 3 FSDs. Remember to go down and check out the merch store. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give a like, subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you guys in space.